Hi, I'm Ash. My hair has been red like this for a while, but I've kind of wanted a change. So I'm going quite a lot shorter and a fun color, hopefully. Yeah, it will still be a fun color. Wait turn so they can see how your hair is now. I'm going for a bob. Okay, thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, got myself a new model. Now, we start first by cutting the hair, because it's uh, now long. And uh, I saw a photo with a bob. And then I'm going to create some turquoise color in her hair. Start of course with protection, like I always do. And putting on a nice green cape. What I almost never do. <laughs> Pin this side, so I have a nice straight line to work on. Start by wetting the hair, see what's going on. Part hairs over the center line and onto the skull bone. Start in the neckline, turn it around so you can see what I do. Lucky that's on drive more then. Gotta get rid of a lot of uh, orange colors. My knife is uh, 190 degrees Celsius, it's an ergo product. Start in the center line, working to the neckline. I first create a blood line. Good to still go praat, hè? Eh? <laughs> Ah, ja, ja, ja. Ja, dat is ook anders, maar dat is wel leuk. Ik vertrouw je wel. Gelukkig. Ik hou mijn best in. In de corners around it, to the outside. We get a nice flow in the natural lines. We do this on both sides. Take a new layer on it. Take it over the center line, start in the center of the neckline, and work till I get on the outside and round it a bit. The same I do on this side, take the hairs to the center line, watch over the center of the skull. Round the hairs on the front that don't have a hard line to work with. I want to get rid of the stiffness of this hair. Every time I take about a centimeter hair on it and do this on both sides. Every time I take about a centimeter hair on it and do this on both sides. Wet it again. Turn it a bit. Eight hairs again on the center line. Watch through the hairs on the center line. And softly go to the front. Daar ga jij meestal los? Yeah. Fijn, hè? Ik heb het al uh, heel lang niet meer in de staart in gehad. Mm -hmm. Maar ik moet ook wel zeggen dat het al heel lang niet meer zo kort is geweest. 
Want het voordeel van dit is dat het heel snel ook weer groeit. Omdat je thermisch geknipt haar, dat zit dicht aan de punten. En dat brokkelt niet af. Ja. Dus dat blijft veel mooier groeien. Het blijft een half jaar dik zitten. In the meantime, we talk about uh, what this tool does. It seals the hairs. And this takes close to between four till six months. So all the hair grows and grows and grows. And when you want to grow the hairs, you only have to take off a uh, half centimeter or something like that, not more. So the hair is then about uh, nine, six till nine centimeters longer. You get the playable effect. Work till you get on the center of the skull. Every time repeating the lines of cutting. Yeah, it is actually more an askleurig kleur, a bit asblond, middle asblond. Yeah. From the top center till behind the ear, parting hair. So we'll do on this side. You'll get a nice rotting over the center of the skull. Every time, do the same lines. Watch through the lines, start in the center, and going down. And to the front, I gave it a slight rounding. I don't have a hard line. Give some extra playable effect. Do this with a cross control. Go in only with the tip of my knife. Wordt het al lichter op je hoofd? Het scheelt wel hoor, maar ik haak weer best wel iets nog. Ja, zeker als dat iemand is. Ja. Ik had eens een Amerikaanse vrouw, die heeft echt naar een kort kapsel gegaan. En uh, droog was het haar 730 gram en nat was 5 kilo. <laughs> I get a nice feeling into the roundings. So now I come to the front. Part on the rounding of the skull. Pull the hairs to the back. Start where the guideline is. And go up to the front. Take the hairs up. Watch at the lines of the skull. Taking a line on it. Now we're going for uh, a dark base and a turquoise laying over it on top. <laughs> How to approach that? So I think I'm going for um, a toner color in the dark colors. And on top I lay a little bit bleach, so I light up the upper lines. 
So you get a, get a deep in look, but also nice turquoise on top afterwards. Because the turquoise goes over the total hair, but when it's this light, you can get the whole hair turquoise, and that's not what we wanted to have. Always watch over the skull lines. And while I get on the ear line, I go a little bit up. Take some hair from the other side with it. To have also a guide on the other side. En normaal praat je er helemaal niet over als je kapper bent, natuurlijk, wat je allemaal doet. Maar doe je dit allemaal nou, instinctief, denk ik. Dat is wel grappig als je dan uit gaat denken hoe wat je doet. Purp. En through the hairs over the skull lines. Get in with my tip. I work the lines up till I get to the front. Take a new line on it and then I'll come wet it again. Again, take the hairs to the back. Go in to the front. Just lift up. Come to the last part. Use the natural roundings. Take it a little bit away from the skull, so I get a little bit more layering in it. But this creates a shorter line, but when I lay it down, the hair has a longer way to travel. Go to the front. Take the hands up. Watch at the skull lines. Set the guideline. Take the sides with it. Go in. From the side, this is also on the left side. Create some extra effect in it. Take a little bit away from the weight. Go back to the center line, connect the lines, throw it out to the back. Take the ass up to the center, go in with my thumb on my knife, not make a straight line, just chop it off the lengths. Dan moet ik de volgende ook wel direct komen met de achterhoek. Je ziet, ik moet het praten zo. Lekker lekker wat in het slik. Ja. Mijn uh, achterhoek is best redelijk. Want, uh, oh, ik kan het ook goed verstaan hoor. Ik kom van mijn vader vandaan. Ja, van mijn vrouw ook. Ik kom uit Almelo en die omgeving, dus die hebben Twente. Nou, dat is ook een beetje hetzelfde. Als je die kunt verstaan, dan kun je het wel redelijk verstaan. Over de telefoon maakt dat het ook nog moeilijker. Ja, absoluut. Nou, voor so far de cut. So now I can make the color. Took as base on 10 volume, 3% and 4 zero. So it's a little bit darker than the own color. Started, started in the underlines. Come on the part where I need to go to the blonde colors. 
So I start on base with the brownish color. Then take the foil, lay it on that. Part about one half centimeters. Lay it on the foil. And only at the start I make a darker frame to work on. Then come to the length. Let it light up. This blue bleach with uh, 6% that's 20 volume and a conditional in it. And I only have to light it up till I get on the yellow colors. Take a little bit of the dark color with it so I don't have a hard line. And this will be set in with the turquoise. Go to the next line. Take the house up. Give them a dark baseline. Then go back to my bleach again. The nice thing of uh, colors of glint is that they have no paraben, no silicones, nothing. And no ammonia of course. Lay a foil on it. And what I told you, take a new line on it. Again, the base dark. Ik heb gisteren al formule 1 zitten kijken of niet? Uh, nee, was, gisteren ben je verjaardag, dus ik kon dat niet kijken. Oké, okay. ah, het is wel leuk om terug te kijken. Wat een echte gave is dit. Het is echt gaaf. Ik vind ze niet vaak zo goed als dat deze was. Dan zie je ook gelijk wat Max van plan was de vorige keer. Strategie, maar ja, toen ging ze pomp kapot. Ja, dat ging het niet. Dat was echt super gaaf. Bijna alle teams hebben last van uh, problemen met de auto. Ja, zeker. Het is een nieuwe auto. Hè? Dus dan moet je opnieuw alles op komt vinden. Ferrari en, en Red Bull hebben eigenlijk de beste auto. En dan rust hier. Oké, okay, all the color is on. Close this. Wait for 25 minutes. Then go back to set in the turquoise. So don't go away. Because we'll certainly be back. A coloring. Now dry the upper hair. Okay, uh, I'm gonna apply uh, of Goldwell KMS in the States uh, to quasi at all. Therefore, you need uh, a bowl, especially for Elum and a brush. 
just applying it on the hairs. And make sure there's enough on the hairs. So don't go away, we'll be back. Back from coloring, rinse it out. Now I'm going to style the hairs. Take a little bit of foam. Apply this on the hairs. Now this hair is uh, normally laying ultra flat on the head. But now I'm going to create some volume in it. So I'm going to blow dry this with a medium brush. Is there any show my code? Yeah, right. Can do it all tight? So yeah, I did love it. You know what? I said, I'm going to tell you something about the douche, but it's my hair net droog as I've slapped. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you must actually have to work out how to slap, what? It's yeah. better for your hair. It's not good to make an offer to slap. So far, blow dry. Using a combination of uh, Bura and Alonza oil. Bura is clay and oil is oil. So it reverses the hair, it also gives it a nice shine and a wilder effect than that what we started with. Get rid of the cape and thank you for watching. Let me show the end result, of course, with all the stars on the shoulders. Bye bye. Have a good day. Ga zo de kleuren laten zien. Leuk. Dank je wel. Hi, I'm Ash. My hair has been red like this for a while, but I've kind of wanted a change, so I'm going quite a lot shorter and a fun color, hopefully. Yeah, it will still be a fun color. Wait turn so they can see how your hair is now. I'm going for a bob. Okay, thank you very much.